Grand Rising, my friends. What's up? What it look like to the most beautiful subscribers in half of the known universe? We'll be going multi. Universal. We'll, this will be going on forever. We'll figure out different realms and dimensions to enter with our... And beauty is inner. Our beauty radiates because we are good people. Or we try to be at least. Hopefully so. If you're new here, thank you for joining us and welcome. <laughs> uh, we're looking at now here the, much, the amount of Ethereum that has been burned since the... EIP, I think it was with 1255. We talked discussed this many times before in the past. So we're now getting close to a million. You know, what are we? A little bit about a little bit less than 55 hundred Ethereum away from a million Ethereum has burned close to be over four billion Ethereum, you know, depending on the price. If you look at look at that money wise, just a million Ethereum has been burned. It's incredible. Now we're up to 500. You, you know, you've been paying attention. It's been 1,000 before, 300, 400. The number fluctuates. But this is going to hit the exchanges. This See, that's the problem. And, I mean, Ethereum is working on it with Ethereum 2.0. I was watching some video of, um, I guess they were doing a test net and practice switching the Ethereum over to 2.0. And it seems like... Uh, Things are moving in the right direction. So, the market update. I mean, you know, it's, it's creeping up a little bit in the past 24 hours. Bitcoin up 2% to 57,717. Ethereum at 4,353. Binance coin, $593.76. Solana, 222. Cardano, 175. XRP, 107. Cardano has gone down. Cardano is not the splashiest, but if, if it's going to be around in five years, yeah, I think so. So for a lot of some other things, maybe more splashy, but may not be around in five years. And that's the coins you want to hold. Is is it going to be here in five years? You think Bitcoin will be here in five years? You know, if the market will be here, yeah. You think Ethereum will be here in five years? You know, that's, that's the questions you ask yourself. People, all the FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. That's what FUD means, F-U-D. For those who may not know that term, Tether will be here. People hate Tether, but it's the first stable coin. So, the one um, Tether to the United States dollar. So, it'll be here. Polka dot $40. It's come down, I think it was in the 50s at some point. But, you know, the healthy pullback where people take profits. The whales have their play, splash around, and then... The momentum will build and the market will shoot back up. Dogecoin at 22 cents, close to 23. Avalanche at 123. Avalanche has been doing well up 22% a week. Crypto.com coin. Crow, whoa, 90 cents. Look at this. This is this you ask yourself, oh, they spent 700 700 million dollars for that for the next 20 years naming right. Was it worth it? Pfft, they probably made that back it, since then. <laughs> and now they got it for the next 20 years And that's one thing I guess I'll just say that Let me see if anything in here uh, I'll just bring it up in a second We'll go to it Shiba Inu at 4 zeros 4163 Terra at 4299 Uniswap 22 Uniswap has been falling down A little bit for the um, I remember it used to be I think top 10 Now it's down 17 Litecoin has been making a little bit of a move. You gotta, you gotta like Litecoin. I just skip over every time. Two, $217.42. If you chain link at 27, I'm not gonna go through every coin. I'll say this every time. Stock market, a little bit better today. The Dow and the SP were positive. NASDAQ was down by almost half a percentage. Tesla had a bit of a, 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 bit of a stumble today, uh, down 4%. Look like Goldman Sachs still in a bit of a tear up, two point five percent. I'll attribute that to my video yesterday, of course. Chevron oil doing well, so uh, Boeing. I guess now the understanding that a bunch of money is about to flow into the markets from the United States government for all of these companies is starting to probably um, 
click for for certain individuals. Yeah, JP Morgan. So the banks deal with it. JP Morgan Health. Okay, that's what we're seeing in that. Um, if you're new here, maybe your first time hearing it, or if you've been here, you know what I say, which is go ahead and think about somebody in your life that means a lot to you in terms of pushing you to become a better human being in every shape, form, and fashion. If there's been that person in your life and write something nice about them down in the comment section and forward the video to them and say, hey, go take a look at what I, what I you know, wrote about you down in the comment section. We can play it forward as such. Getting into today's story, uh, this is a bit of an old story and it has a kind of a link with other ones with uh, New York mayor elect Eric Adams vows to take first three paychecks in Bitcoin. The Miami mayor has said uh, several weeks ago that he would take his next check in Bitcoin. But the New York's upcoming leader said, oh, I'll take my first three checks in Bitcoin. And Tampa's mayor said she would take some of her payment in Bitcoin, if I'm not mistaken. So you're going to not, you, you know, like we're, being, you know, we're forcing you to make money. So you're going to see a lot of how are you going to you're going to jail everyone in the country who is using, you know, uh, Visa and all of the pay services. PayPal are using cryptocurrencies now for their transactions. It's cutting down on their expenses and it's going to save them money. Come on. Get your head in the game. So we'll keep an eye on how many more individuals will start taking their paychecks and how many corporations and how many will put their entire books on on the, on the blockchain in that regard. All big banks will soon be crypto trading. I kind of messed up that. All big banks will be crypto trading soon, formal, former Citigroup CEO, should I be, shouldn't I also be trading and selling cryptocurrency assets? Is a question that every bank may soon be asking itself. So, I don't know why I was butchering the, <laughs> the beginning part so horribly. All of the world's major banks will start trading in crypto in one to three years. Former Citigroup CEO Varkom Pandit predicted a tech conference in Singapore. Oh. Nothing I say is financial advice, medical advice, advice in the matters of the spiritual realm, in anything, shape, form, or fashion. Uh, I butcher words, mangle things, trust nothing, trust no one, not even yourself. Only thing you trust is God. So he started at the... <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry that the large banking, large banking's reluctancy to accept cryptocurrency may soon be turned on its head as it comes to dominate the banking and trading worlds. Every large bank and or security firms is going to actively think about shouldn't I also be trading and selling cryptocurrency assets? Pandit, who led Citigroup Group from 2007 to 2012 and now chairs the Origin Origin Group, which he co-founded, so Bloomberg. So. You know, this is a guy still talking to his colleagues and individuals in there. And everyone now is like. So it kind of ties in a little bit to what I was thinking about saying earlier, and it fits in with this now, which is, you know, I was seeing some people get into projects and, and if they don't make double their money in a week, it's like, oh, my God, this is trash. This is the trashest thing I've ever seen in my life. And it's like. The the financial institution and the quote unquote uh, uh, legacy world fiat world they they expect to see a double in their money in in six seven eight years not in a week span not in in a month come on this don't ten x in six months I'm out of here are you kidding me so. The time span has gone. I mean, look, and, and these individuals here are probably realizing why don't I have a bunch of money poured into this uh, decentralized finance and get and, and a lot of them do. Don't get it twisted, but all of them want to be in on it, and so it's just going to explode the market even crazier. That's why you know we're pushing like, hey, you know, for the very beginning, it's just look, buy a little bit of Bitcoin, Ethereum, dollar cost average in. You know, this has kind of exploded a lot since then, but. And from that point, 
it'll be times where you can start learning, okay, how the different chains work, the different, you know, you have, um, you know, all the ones we go through every day. I'm not going to start to get like NFTs, the smart contract, the, the chains that have smart contracts, the NFTs, and now the decentralized finance, it all build information builds on top of itself. And it's fair competition with the big, quote unquote, the old time big boys. That's the beautiful thing about this financial revolution is that we're still at the ground floor and you can be able to, some people ain't going to do it. Some people are not going to make these decisions. Look, you know, in our day-to-day lives, I see people on a daily basis who have, if I tried to even just start to talk about, they look, what, are you crazy? <laughs> not even that. They can't force sentences a lot. You know, not, not even force sentences, but it's just, Yeah. Some people will never be able to understand and get caught on to this. And not, and, and not don't have the capacity. The decisions they make don't allow them to. I'm looking at a partnership with Galaxy Digital. I believe that's uh, Novogratz's um, company, if I'm not mistaken. Goldman Sachs is also recently started trading in crypto futures, if I'm not mistaken. So if you can understand this, and it, it, it may seem difficult at times, but just keep building little bit by little bit little bit don't take crazy risks nothing you don't feel comfortable with because there's a lot of scams out there don't click on any link go to your go to the EDC sites yourself search make sure it's the ones you can go like I, you know should have told you this before this is a brilliant idea for a lot of these projects say like we're going here to um ohm they got you know got, got every ohm in the book in this mug Say you want to go home, you can go to the website from here. You know, for all of these. And so that these, you know, are reputable ways to get to, and you know, CoinGecko, CoinMarketCap. Use these to go to these different, uh, some of these different websites to make sure you are very safe in what you're doing. So... <clears throat> Big banks are getting in. They will be in in the next couple of years. So they're not even in yet. You know what I'm saying? They're not even in yet. They're not even in yet. You could beat them and be there collecting them coming in. You know, with, you know, liquidity pools, uh, lending money. You know, we'll, we'll we'll talk about all that. But now, look. I apologize, I, and it, 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 you know I don't say I won't say it's no one's fault. It's just that this is what the universe is pumping out right now. It's a lot of China stuff, so I don't know what that means. But let's just be keep our minds and our eyes focused on tasks. China's giant moving warship targeting the desert shows how seriously it's taking a naval arms race. Basically, they build big giant model aircraft, United States aircraft carriers, and uh, our list class cruise missile ships, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I mean, a lot of our ships. I'm not, I'm not just those two. You know, the Arles Burke, the Arlie Burke class guided missile destroyers. And even on a big, they even got them on big giant rails and moving them around and seeing how their targeting systems would work for their missiles. And then they have ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, and probably hypersonic missiles that would be anti ship. Hypersonic, a hypersonic missile hitting the ship would be, would be very devastating. I'm thinking if because we're going to be trying to develop our own if we don't have our own to hit ships, and that would be a very because you don't even need a, a payload and it would be just the kinetic energy of the mass of the vehicle hitting a ship with with you know without even you don't even need a payload would just be so devastating. <sighs> this is, I don't know what is wrong with human beings. Why do we have to waste all our money on stuff like this? Could we, and, and, and this just propagates now all of us wasting our money on defensive and offensive weaponry to kill each other on a mass level, on, on a societal level, or even a species, planetary level. Could we destroy the planet? Are we at the point where are we could f- literally destroy the planet? I don't know about that, but we could damage the planet enough. I just think over, you know, a million years, everything will clean itself up. So 
you know, you wouldn't, that's not Planet Killer. So, it's stupid. I'm going to use the word stupid in that case. Stupid. So, basically, blah, blah, blah. They build a bunch of big, giant test uh, 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 um, facilities. And they're, they're working on missiles. It's a good map down here somewhere. Where is it? Yeah, this just shows kind of their various missiles and their range around China. Kind of what they're able to um, defend against. So, you know, it's not really, they can, you know, with the, the very basic stuff, they can cover Japan and, um, of course, um, Taiwan. I like how this map has, and I'm mistaken, it has Taiwan as part of China. <laughs> uh, but I may be mistaken exactly. Um, so, you know, you're really just saying, okay, so they got whole India under deck. They can hold India under deck. Look like. You know, we can kind of base up around Australia and then kind of boom in hard, but Space Force detects, I discussed this a little bit yesterday, mystery object in orbit alongside Chinese satellite. They're calling it a Apogee kick motor. So what is an Apogee kick motor? Because I had no clue either. But it's basically when something is trying to get into the specific orbit, it may have a a kind of just a you know device hanging off that just helps with that getting in position then once it gets there it'll jettison off go off usually it'll be jettisoned off before it gets to where it wants to go but close enough jettison off in a safe place and then a satellite will go into the orbit it's going to be in, especially if it's like in a geosynchronous orbit but this has a chinese Shenzhen twin I said a bunch of stuff. No, I mean, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. You know what? I'm going to go look up a, um, a video where somebody's talking about it, see if I'm saying that correctly. 21 spacecraft, a satellite with the stated purpose of cleaning up space junk, has an orbital companion, but we're not entirely sure what it is. The Shenzhen 21 satellite was launched to space back in October. The spacecraft was put into the planned orbit successfully that we were mainly used to test and verify space debris mitigation technologies. We talked a little bit about how this relationship yesterday, um, you know, I've been reading these other stories and I'm not sure if that was, that wasn't a story we talked about yesterday. Yesterday was the, how it was able to dodge. And then we talked about how a couple years ago that the, they put enough fuel in it that the, V, the orbital vehicle that put it in space, you know, hung out with it a little bit longer to throw off kind of um, the tracking of it and kind of determining what, what was, you know, what they were, other countries was looking at up there. So, you know, now it's like they, they, they kind of put two things together and where this other spacecraft seems to have like its own satellite. Oh, I'm sorry, spacecraft. I mean, it be a spacecraft. This uh, satellite has its own satellite. And, and you know, We've done it before in the United States. It's not unheard of to have a satellite with a companion satellite with it. So, but that's what we're calling it. And um, for for whatever reason, our, our Space Force is calling it an Apogee kick motor when it doesn't appear to be acting as an Apogee kick motor, according to other observers. And we may just be saying that to kind of throw off that we know what's going on or we're watching to figure out what they're doing with it. So, importantly, China um, satellite did something similar back in 2018, producing a companion object or sub-satellite. The pair maneuvered in concert and carried operations include spoofing, which involved coordinated maneuvers at certain times in an attempt to confuse rival space tracking networks. So, very smart. Very smart. And we, I mean, look, maybe we just keep what we do a little bit more secret. So... But I enjoy how life is going now, and I and I don't think America not being in charge. So even with our with all our flaws, it's still I think an awesome country, and striving to be the best ideals it can. So I'm rooting for it. It is what it is, you know. Hey. I guess I'm biased in that regard. I try my best to not be biased in most things. But I'm not gonna keep you long. Hey, with that, I love you. You love you. God loves us, and that's all that matters.